So let's examine the following example that deals with resistors placed in electric circuits. Let's suppose we have two electric circuits that are connected as shown in the following two diagrams. Circuit number one has two light bulbs connected in series and circuit number two has two light bulbs connected in parallel. Now if the resistance of the light bulbs is identical and equal to 2 ohms, in part A calculate the resistance of that single resistor that will replace the two light bulbs in both of these cases and in part B in which case will there be more light produced. So let's begin with part A and let's look at electric circuit number one. So in electric circuit number one, we have two light bulbs which are connected in series. So that means to calculate the equivalent resistance of that single light bulb that will replace these two light bulbs, we'll, we simply take the algebraic sum. So the equivalent resistance is equal to R1 plus R2. Now R1 is equal to R2 which is equal to 2 ohms. So that means the total resistance is equal to 4 ohms. So our equivalent resistance is given by 4 ohms for electric circuit number 1. Now let's move on to electric circuit number 2. Now we have two light bulbs which are connected in parallel. So that means if we are to find the equivalent resistance we have to follow this equation. 1 divided by the equivalent resistance is equal to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2. So R1 is equal to R2 which is equal to 2 ohms. So 1 half plus 1 half gives us 1 divided by 1. So that implies that the equivalent resistance for electric circuit number 2 is given by 1 ohms. So we see that in electric circuit number 2 the equivalent resistance is less than that of circuit number 1. Now let's move on to part B. In which case will there be more light produced? So to calculate in which case we have more light we have to calculate in which case we have more electric power. So because electric power is equal to the product of the voltage which is constant for both of these cases and the electric current to calculate which one of these circuits produces more power we have to calculate in which electric circuit we have more electric current. So because of Ohm's law we know voltage which is constant is equal to I multiplied by R. So to calculate in which case we have a greater I, we have to calculate in which case we have a smaller equivalent resistance. So from part A, we know that the equivalent resistance is smaller for circuit number 2 than circuit number 1. So that means because R is smaller for the second circuit, the electric current will be higher for the same exact fixed voltage. Now. Because power is equal to the product of the electric current and the voltage and the V stays the same, there will be more power produced by electric circuit number 2 and therefore there will be more light produced by circuit number 2.